this program is the uh, following the ramp. The, with the ultrasonic sensors. So this is the ultrasonic sensor in port 1. And this is the one in port 4. And it looks a lot more complete. Let's say here. Yeah. yeah. The ramp uh, is 45 centimeters. But if most of the ultrasonic sensors see the world, it go forward, but it's impossible because it's it's impossible. It's it can be wrapped uh, if the walls go like this. Yeah. So, so the thing that is the trigger point is 15 centimeters. So that both sensors read a, a, a distance less than 15 centimeters is impossible. But we still make the robot to go forward. Right? In this case, it's impossible because they are parallel. And then what happens? And then if it sees one more closer than 12 centimeters, yeah. it turns and yeah. goes to the other yeah. But the problem with that is if it's here, then that's more than 15 centimeters, and that's more than 15 centimeters. So, so it, it stops. So it, it, it could happen that in the ramp, instead of being parallel to the ramp, it will be twisted, right? So the trigger distance might actually be bigger, right? So in the case that the, the both sensors read uh, this trigger distance bigger than 15 centimeters, right? Uh, it checks whether well it's out of the lab by looking one meter. Right? That's, that's the way this covers out of the lab. So this is the ground forward, and then the next one is okay. after the ground. After the ground. Right. So uh, here, it follows a line until then, an intersection. Then it's okay. done over right. Which is, um, then it turns right or left. These are all the they should have created with the program. Yeah. So show. So, so this is the line forward. That's, this is the line forward. With two sensors. With two sensors. And if both sensors see white, it goes forwards for unlimited. Uh, but if once he's white and once he's black, it turns one way. And if once he's black and once he's white, it turns the other way. And if both see black, it stops. And the logic variable writes true, and then this logic variable reads that that one's written true, and then ex uh, exits the loop using that. And then and we'll go to the last program. And this program turns the robot right or left using a true or false. So if it's true, it turns right. If it's false, it turns left. So here we have turn right true, which is turning right using these three blocks. And this is false, which is turning left. It's using a rotation to yeah. measure it. Here. Here. The, uh, the rotations, how we manage to get these two blocks here is if you put a variable in and connect it to a variable inside the make the new block, then it appears with these if you don't put the variable connected in. You get these two. So basically this this variable here you know, is connected to this block and this is the duration, right? So, in the main program, uh, this is, the, this is the program, we can say turn right or turn left, right? And here, we can say how many uh, rotations will of the, 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 the robot turn. So, this means that with only one block, we are able uh, to... Only... Okay, here. Yeah. Only with one block, we are able to manage all different kinds of intersections, right? Even turning uh, 180 degrees on the black yes. and on the white right right. angle. It's the same block. Right. <coughs> Thank you very much for coming. Well,